Oh, get that tied up. Raise the flag this morning. We had a terrible windstorm a few nights ago. Tore a lot of things up. It's June now, everybody. Crops are well on their way. And we have some burn down to do. If we come over here, for example. I know. Don't look. Don't look. It is terrible. Everything is absolutely healthy. But if we do not get control of these weeds, man, we're going to be sitting in very, very bad shape. I haven't checked any of the other fields this morning, but seems like this is probably going to be the case for all of our fields. So we're going to have to put a lot of herbicide down, which I put residual and zidua in here. Uh, doesn't look like it worked very well. So we got a big day ahead of us. Let's get to spraying. Let's knock this out. So there is talk of self-propelled sprayers. There is a few prototypes out. There actually is a few out. We just don't have the money for it right now. I say that as we do have $149,000. That's actually, you know, a lot and the grain we get off of this should be outstanding this year if we can keep up with the weeds and then a little bit later we also actually need to start side dressing our corn with nitrogen we can just change the tips over these and they will basically just be little nozzles that just put nitrogen down so we'll get on the herbicide as quick as possible which this REIs are going to put us out of the field for the rest of the day once we do this but I'm sure we can find some other various things to do. Also, if you notice, the money went up because look around, where is everything? We sold all of the equipment minus the Brockway, and the guy actually found him the same combine as mine. A little better condition, so he bought the heads, he took the tractor, the sprayer, but he's going to use this as parts combine, so it is going to sit here. So if anybody ever shows up and is taking parts off this thing, no, it's not getting stolen. It is a deal we worked out, and now I'm sitting at a really good place with money. But enough about money. we got to get fields to action because this is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I guess it slipped under my rug, and I didn't. And burn down the field so now we are a little bit behind but hopefully we're gonna use some really powerful stuff Alrighty, so this is unfolded. Booms are all out. We will prime these. I had a couple of nozzles break out last time I sprayed, so we had to put new ones on it. But here we are, man. We got to get after it. I d <laughs> you guys are going to ask, why is there corn in your soybean field, William? Well, this was just to calibrate the planter. Uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to put stuff on the soybean that's going to kill this corn. So it's not going to stick around. It'll actually give us a place to pull the header cart in here, which we don't have. I guess we need to buy it, but we're going to go ahead and spray this because it is uh, pretty darn ugly. So, if everybody remembers, we did buy a new field. We auctioned off the one on the left, which I don't know what's going on over there. Doesn't even look like he's planted it. Anywho, that's not my business. But we had a couple bags of seed we planted over in the new bean field we bought, okay? And uh, nothing came up. We lost about half of our field. I went and checked it this morning. I was a little appalled. And uh, let's just say some seed companies have been called. They've collaborated. And man, farmers aren't happy. This is happening all over the place. We'll get compensation for it. I think they'll basically just pay us like a, a crop destruct fee. But it is what it is. I'm upset about it. At the same time, I have a fixed cost already or a fixed allowance that I'll be paid can't be that bad reduces my workload like I said we got to get all these fields sprayed first you guys will probably see that field I'm sure it'll be a weedy mess and uh, we honestly probably just need to go over there and disc it up I'm hoping we can just spray it and kill it but if it gets to the point where I think we need to do other action we might spray it give it a few days and then disc it into the ground We've hit this field on our right as well. It seems to be dying off pretty well. You can see the weeds are yellowing up. And I think we're going to get some pretty high soybean yields. I'm glad that the market looks like it's going to be in favor for soybean. Man, we planted a lot of it the way we were rotating stuff. But we're getting close to this field, and I'm getting a little nervous. I haven't been to it in a few days. We'll see how it is. So, here it is. 
We'll go ahead, start unfolding this. I don't really know. Well, see, I did put residual down over here. I must have not stirred up the weed seed enough. Doesn't look like we got any. Well, there's there's a little bit out here. But, uh, yeah, it's just a big playground, and I'm upset about it. So, let's spray it and uh, try not to worry too much. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my wife. I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leave. Kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star There we have it. That field is sprayed. We are loading our booms up right now. And uh, we're going to head back to the house. I think we might grab a little bit of lunch. I'm getting pretty hungry. And all this spraying is, yeah, it's building up an appetite. Because sitting in this cab over and over again, got a bit of a headache smelling all these dang chemicals. Hopefully, these chemicals, I don't know, they figure a way to make them, you know, not, not so strong in the future smelling, I guess. But don't think that's going to happen. And, uh, yeah. So let's go back up to the farm. So, it's late, and I've got a crazy idea. It's probably not going to work, but I can't stand to look at the bare ground anymore. Guy went home. It's been half a day later, and uh, I'm thinking we take this 1066. I say we go scotch in some beans. So, here we are, as you can see. Weeds are gone in this soybean field. I love the look of that. We may get lucky. Maybe the herbicide worked at the other place, too. But we're taking this tractor down to try to scotch in some beans in June. I know, crazy. I don't think it's going to work, but we found an extra couple of bags of seed we've had sitting around. They were free to us from a dealer out of somewhere, a startup company. I think they were called Bex or, Bex or something? Maybe Bex? I, I have no clue. All right, here is the setup. We've gone a little bit. Depth looks great. This planter hadn't been used in two seasons, if not hardly at all. I don't know, but let's get to it. Uh, don't have sunscreen on. I'm probably going to blend in with this tractor. And here we are at the end of the field, man. We are done. I'm burnt up. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm hurting bad. So, I think we want to go home and relax for the rest of the day. Uh, basically, now we just got to monitor these crops. Because, like I said, we've put herbicide on them. Off camera, we fertilized them. 
And uh, now that we have our beans scotched in, I think it's more so just kind of a waiting game. We will maintenance stuff, and uh, soon enough, our corn will be ready. And just like that, in a blink of an eye, we'll be getting the brand new John Deere out and seeing what it can do. And there we have it, 1066 shut down, 7000 series planner, probably retired for the year. Actually, yes, retired for the year, definitely. No more replanning, no more oopsies. I think it's time to go inside, and I'm sure we'll see y'all in a handful of months, maybe, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see if we even keep farming. You never know what happens in the uh, great land of America. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the 